Hey guys, my name is Caleb. Welcome to this video. So this video is going to be a guide on how to kill the Dagonoth Rex with Mage. And in this guide I'm going to go into detail on what gear setups and inventory setups to use and how to actually get to Rex and make sure that Rex is safe spotted properly. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to start off with the basically the optimized setup. I don't have all the best stuff anymore because I haven't done this in a long time. But basically as far as gear goes, you want to look like this. You can upgrade your granite shield to a dragonfire shield or an imbued crystal shield, and the staff of the dead is a bit better than the void knight mace um, because of the damage defensive bonuses. Other than that, you should be looking like this if you have enough money for a Guthan set and everything like that. Um, make sure you always bring your ring of life because there's always a chance that you can die. Even if you know what you're doing, you can still get crashed, and you never know what will happen. As far as the inventory goes, um, if you if you do have Guthans. You only need a few brews and your Guthans should heal you. If you have a Ceradome and God Sword, bring that as long as you um, know what you're doing. You like, you don't want to die with it, obviously, but as long as you know what you're doing, the Ceradome and God Sword is really good. So basically, you, you want super anti-poisons, probably three or four per trip. Um, and when you're first starting off, you're going to want to bring a few more brews than I do, probably like five or six. But I just bring three brews because I know what I'm doing and... Those are only really only for emergencies, and you want to have at least one super restore for every three Ceradolin brews that you have because that's the proper ratio. And then the rest I would just rec recommend to bring prayer potions because they're a bit cheaper and hardly different than super restores. And uh, my setup is optimized for using God spells with charge, which requires level 80 mage. And if you don't have level 80 mage, you should be using Slayer Dart. And Slayer Dart's a little bit weaker, but it's effective and actually a lot cheaper. So it's sort of debatable which one's actually better. I prefer God Spells because you can last a lot longer. And you're obviously going to need your uh, emergency teleport. Okay guys, so this setup is optimized for using Slayer Dart. Now obviously, the, the big difference is just the Slayer Staff and different runes. And I would recommend taking one or two less super anti-poisons because you're not going to be able to do as many kills per trip. But other than that, just pretty much the same exact setup as using god spells but make sure to bring your slayer staff and your runes for slayer dart. If you don't have Guthans then this is the best setup that you can use. Obviously you can still upgrade your shield and if you're doing god spells you can use your void knight mace or your staff of the dead. But um, if you don't have Guthans then it's best to use a Verox helm, a Verox skirt, and a Derox Torags or Guthans plate body. The reason that you don't use a Verox top is because it has a lot lower defense than other Barrow's tops, but the Varax Helm and Varax Skirt give prayer bonus, which is really important at Dagonoth Kings because you're going to be praying mage basically all the time that you're doing Rex. So if you don't have full Guthans, then your trips will be shorter because you'll need to bring about 8 or 9 brews per trip, and that'll make it so you can take less prayer potions, and you're just going to have to be brewing whenever your health gets low instead of using Guthans. So guys, once you've got your inventory and gear all set up, there are two main ways to get to the actual boat that will take you to Waterbirth Island. The first is to teleport to Camelot and run all the way up north to the Rileka city. The second is to put your house in the Fremenic province and teleport to house, which will bring you a lot closer. So once you reach Rileka with other travel methods that you get, you're going to want to run up to the northwest, and at this point you're probably going to want to meet up with a friend because you will need another person to be able to get into the deeper part of the Waterbirth dungeon lair, which is where the Dagonoth Kings are located. So here you just come and travel with Jarvald, and he'll take you to the Waterbirth Island. And from here you just run up to the north and walk around this tip of the island. And you'll come around to a cave in the center. And after you get to this point you definitely need a friend with you because once you enter this cave you're going to need a friend to open a door with you. So when you have enough energy, enter the cave and immediately pray melee. Now you don't need to be super careful about the melee prayers, just make sure that you pray melee when anything is attacking you here because there are only monsters in here that can attack you with melee. And you want to run first to the northeast corner and you'll come across a door that has two pressure plates on each side. Now you need to stand on one and you need to have your friend stand on the other and then you click the door to open it. And then after you open the first door, run south to the southernmost door and then you'll open this door 
and have your friend go back to the north or you can go back to the north. One of you has to go back through that north door and you can keep going through the south door. And if you go through the south door, make sure to pray range because there are aggressive ranging monsters here that will hit for a lot of damage if you don't pray range. Now w once you reach this area, you'll notice that there are three small doors and there are struts or door supports on the back of the doors. Now you want to cast a spell or use a bow, an arrow, to shoot an arrow on the opposing door support and it will break it and knock it down and your partner will do the same thing allowing you to get into the actual lower regions of the water birth dungeon. Now from here, once you climb down the ladder you're going to have to run through a series of tunnels with aggressive monsters that attack with different combat styles and I'm going to flash up a map that has the whole dungeon and what to pray for each room. There are certain rooms that just have rock crabs and in those rooms the rock crabs are not going to be aggressive unless you run up next to them so you're basically safe and what you want to do in these rooms is make sure that your run energy is filled up and I'm just going to speed up the clip for the rest of the tunnels. Okay guys, so once you've reached this point and your energy is high enough, you want to hit your protect for melee and head down this Z-shaped cavern here. And once you reach the bottom of the sea, you're going to want to switch your prayer to protect from magic because there are well of Salky down here, and those things can hit well over 20 damage. Now once you get to the bottom of this, you head east, and the ladder is right here, and this will lead you down to the actual lair of the Dagonoth Kings. And as you can see in this clip, I got very lucky with this spawn. Now normally, in most circumstances, when you run down the ladder, both of the, one or both of the Prime and Supreme will attack you. And what you want, always want to do is run south along the wall and hug the south wall to the east side. Now as you can see in this clip, there's another person already here, so obviously I wasn't going to crash him. Now this clip is a much more likely representation of what's going to happen to you. If you guys look closely, you can see there's an, a missile coming at me every so often, and this is from the Supreme, which is the Ranger. And this is a good scenario, actually. I only have the Ranger, I don't have the Mage on me. And with this, you can work with it. Now, the reason that I'm not going all the way to the safe spot is because there's another person there. And if there's another person there, you just want to run back to the ladder, climb up, and over, walk over to this part of the tunnels, and just hop worlds until you can go in and find an empty world. Now you may have to hop around a few times because at the moment Dagonoth Kings are actually quite popular because a lot of people have been getting their combat stats up and with using using items from the God Wars it makes it a bit easier. But just keep hopping around until you find your own world and that shouldn't take too long. So once you're down in the actual lair, you'll be attacked all the time by Spine Lips if you're on the corners of the map. And as you can see there are those little weird creatures. And these do cause poison so that's why you have the super anti-poisons and they attack with magic and range with a maximum damage of 10 and since you're wearing gear that's weak to magic and strong against range you're going to be praying magic against them even if you don't have the prime attacking you and this is why you bring your guthans, you're not going to be using guthans on rex, you're going to be using it on the spinal lips between kills while you're waiting for rex to spawn and doing this should be able to restore your health if you have a decent defense level if you don't have a very high defense level you might want to bring a few extra brews just because you'll get hit harder by the spinal lips now I wish I could show you guys more clips of me coming into the lair and getting Rex all safe spotted without the other two attacking me, but the honest truth is that it's a different it's a different scenario every single time you walk in. It just it all depends on where the Prime and Supreme actually are in the lair, and this can depend a lot. There are certain times where you can get in and be safe from both of them without even having to log out or switch worlds or anything, and there are other times where you get both on them and you have to go back up. So it's really something that you just acquire over time and there's not there's only so much that a guy can do for this part because it's by far the hardest part of killing Rex. One of the most important things you need to know about killing Rex is how to safe spot him effectively. So when Rex spawns, he'll spawn in the center of the area and you want to cast your spell from your 
hide out on the east side and then run against the wall to make sure that Prime can't grab you. And once Rex approaches, you want to run south, and Rex will actually be trapped behind a small area where he can't move because he's bigger than one square wide. And this is what you're going to use to your advantage to safe spot him. There are a few different safe spots along this wall. This is my favorite one personally, but it's up to you which one you decide to use. Once you master this tactic, killing Dagonoth Rex is actually quite simple. You just repeat this over and over again. Between kills, attack the spinal lips with your Guthans to make sure that your health is at full. From this safe spot, the Prime and the Supreme will not ever attack you. They simply cannot. It's how the game is programmed. The only time that they can attack you is if somebody else lures them over here. The Dagonoth Kings can attack anywhere in the area, but they will only be aggressive against you in certain areas, and this is not one of them, which is why this is a safe spot. But if another player walks into the lair and has some of the Dagonoth Kings attacking him and then runs next to you, then you will also be attacked. So you have to keep this in mind and watch out for other players. Using this method with Guthans and Godspells should earn you about 40 kills per trip once you've got the hang of it. It will cost you about 600 to 700 K GP per trip in runes and potions, but you can expect about one drop per trip on average because the drop rate from Rex is 1 in 40. So you should break even and make lots of profit in the long term. So guys, leave a comment with any questions that you have about this method. I've tried to use as much detail as I can, but the Dagonoth Kings are a fairly complicated set of bosses. But I hope you guys make lots of money at Dagonoth Rex. Always be safe. Make sure you remember to bring your ring of life at all times. And thank you very much for watching this guide. I encourage you guys to check out my other videos if you're interested. I make skilling vlogs on my level 3 skiller, guides, and discussion videos about different topics that are on my mind. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and see you later.